Uh, we're joined now by Peter Matthews, who's a professor of political science at Cyprus College and joins us live now uh, from Los Angeles. Mr. Matthews, welcome to the program. Uh, if you were Michael Flynn right now, how nervous would here. you be feeling? I'd be quite nervous, believe me. Uh, it's not a pretty picture right now to be investigated by the Inspector General of the Pentagon to see whether or not you've broken the law or taking funds from foreign sources when he was warned not to take them earlier okay. in 2014. And tell us more about this law that he's, he's broken. What is he actually not allowed to do and why? Well, it's, it's quite interesting because he's a military man and therefore he especially must be very careful because the military people who have retired can be called back at any time if there's a war, for example, to serve active duty, which means that during the time that they are retired between being called back, they shouldn't have any obligations to foreign governments or countries by taking money from those foreign sources. It also reflects the emoluments clause of the U.S. Constitution, which says that no government official should accept any kind of payment or profit from a foreign government uh, because of conflict of interest uh, reasons. So this is what he may have broken, and uh, that's being investigated still. And uh, now the House uh, Oversight Committee is checking it out as well. It will be very interesting to see how long this will carry on and whether or not it will affect the Trump administration in any way. Right, all that under investigation to see whether he did, in fact, break the law. But so if the legal noose is tightening on right, Flynn, what of the White House's position? How is Donald Trump's administration set amid all this? The Donald Trump administration said that, uh, that Flynn was vetted under the Obama administration, but that's a little uh, deceiving because, in a sense, even though it was done, he, the vetting occurred when Obama was president, the fact is it was Donald Trump's administration, Donald Trump himself, who agreed to go by the vetting and, and go ahead and hire this guy, to hire Flynn, uh, as, and, and therefore nominate him as the uh, national security advisor. So it was the Trump decision that calls into question the uh, veracity of the Trump administration and the efficiency of it. Uh, and I think that's the real question here. Right. The other and question in is what who knew sense what, when and how. That... That's a good question. Right. Sorry, say that again. Yeah, it is also important to ascertain who knew about these things and who may have, in fact, tr uh, Flynn himself covered it up. He did not reveal the, that he had actually received hundreds of thousands of dollars from foreign sources. He covered that up during the whole vetting process, and that's a problem. Don't forget, in Watergate, the actual crime of the Watergate break-in was not as bad as the cover-up that Richard Nixon was shown to have actually engaged in. It was the cover-up that was the problem. And so you may end up with something like that here. We have to be very careful to make any judgments now until the investigation continues and the final conclusions are made. Absolutely right. Uh, but how long is this process going to take, do you think? And, and that in itself is going to be a, a constant cloud hanging over the Trump administration until it is resolved, isn't it? Yes, it'll be in the news constantly and it'll be a diversion from what the Trump administration is trying to accomplish policy-wise. Also, we don't know how long it'll take because... These kinds of investigations could have twists and turns in them that are unforeseen, and therefore it could be longer than what we thought, or it could end more abruptly. So it's very difficult to predict how long it will take and how much attention it will take away from the Trump administration or tarnish the Trump administration's efforts as well. Peter Matthews, great to get your perspective on this. Appreciate that very much. Thanks a lot. Now, Pope